We all hate the feeling of overpaying for plants, and yet there are certain plants that we're willing to pay the premium for. What happens when there becomes more supply of a rare plant, then they become more common and the price drops. They're everywhere. Previous plants that have graduated from rare to common are the raven ZZ, the philodendron micans, and even the ficus altissima. But today we're talking about the new class. Meet the new class of common house plants that you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for. The first plant that I want to highlight is the ficus shiveriana. I remember when I first started my channel, this was so rare. Hardly anyone was talking about it, and you couldn't see it anywhere, but I saw little hints of this plant in 2021, but now I am seeing them everywhere, and I'm seeing tons of four-inch planters of ficus cerverianas in Home Depot, all the garden centers, and other local nurseries. They have seven of these ficus shiverianas available, and they all look so good. What I love about the ficus shiverianna is that not only is it beautiful, but it's super easy to care for. The variegation is a lot different from the tanika. As you can see, completely different. But the care is very similar. It's a super forgiving plant. And they also have six inch planters of ficus shiverianna. This is my first time seeing a six inch one. These are $24.99. The next plant I want to talk about is the Philodendron Squamiferum. This is a beautiful philodendron with super hairy, bristly petioles, and it's really cool. This used to be considered rare, but now I am seeing this again at local nurseries, Home Depots, Lowe's even. These have now become more common, so that's great. This is still a really cool plant. The petioles really do stand out. And also, the leaf shape is really interesting too. They have four inch planters for $16.99, but I remember seeing these go for about $100 or more sometimes. So it's great to see more of these hit the market and at a lower price too. They're really easy to care for and are not very demanding with light or watering so this is a great easy plant to add to your collection if you want something special. Calatheas get a bad rap but there's one Calathea that's really easy and used to be hard to find but I'm finding that they're becoming more and more available and that is the Calathea Musaica Network. The Calathea Musaica Network was, maybe still is, a trending tropical. You don't have to go through Costa Farms anymore. You can search for one in your local nursery. I'm seeing them more and more, and these are super easy. They're not super prone to spider mites, from my experience, and they're actually very forgiving. These have really cool leaves. So if there's one Calathea that I could recommend, it's this one. Plant Depot usually has an awesome selection of Calatheas, and they have eight of these Calathea Musaica networks available. They are $14.99 each. The next plant I want to talk about is the Philodendron Bipenifolium aurea. This is another beautiful philodendron that's super easy to grow. What's really cool about this is that it has a lighter color in the leaves and it reminds me of like a philodendron lemon lime version of the bipenifolium. It's really cool to see these become more and more available. Again, I've seen these in garden centers, local nurseries, as well as big box stores. So you don't really have to look hard for these anymore. They have these in six inch planters here at Plant Depot for $29.99 and it is supported with a steak. Look at this leaf shape. This kind of reminds me of a UPI or a Philodendron 69686, but it's obviously a bipenifolium. That's cool. Now we're going to talk about the Epipremnum pinnatum Cebu Blue. I remember back in the day, like 2019, 2020, Cebu Blue was like this enigmatic plant 
that you can never find. Sometimes you could find it at Walmart, but it was nowhere to be found wherever you were looking for it, at least in my case. But now I'm seeing them everywhere, and I was wondering how long it would take because Epipremnums propagate so easy. They're really easy to care for too, supposedly. Um, I always have a hard time with Cebu Blues because they are more common and a lot more affordable. They're also a lot more available, so I'm a lot more willing to maybe try it again and again and again. <laughs> They have Cebu Blues in 4-inch planters here at Plant Depot and the 4-inch ones are $12.99. They also have larger 6-inch hanging baskets for $22.99. I remember when you would have to go on Facebook Marketplace or like do a trade, just the links that we used to go for just to get a little piece of Cebu Blue. This is the Aeschcananthus Bolero Variegata and this is the second time I'm seeing it. So this piece of news is fresh, hot off the press. I'm breaking the story as it unfolds. <laughs> Patodendron exclusive. Aeschcananthus bolero, I feel like is another houseplant that is gonna be a lot more common. If you didn't already know, the Aeschcananthus is also known as the lipstick plant, which is this beautiful, common beauty. And then we also know about the Black Pagoda lipstick plant, also known as the Aeschcananthus longicollis. Now we're adding the Bolero to the family, so it's cool to see these more and more. And they have these in 4-inch planters for $8.99 each. The next plant is the Geogenanthus poepigii. These are super cool. Let's just call it the seersucker plant because that's its nickname. These are $9.99. These used to not really be available anywhere, like maybe months ago, but now I'm seeing them kind of burst onto the scene and they're in every nursery, garden center, even big box stores, so it's really cool. But the fortunate thing is that I have not seen this like overpriced anywhere. Everywhere I've gone, it's been like ranging from $9.99 to $12.99. As far as like whether it's easy or not, I really can't say because I haven't tried it, but now that it's more available and more affordable, I am so much more willing to try. Those are all the plants that I'm realizing are becoming more and more common, so maybe keep an eye out if those are on your wish list. Hold out just a little more. It's always fun seeing some rare plants become more common because hey, they become more affordable and more accessible. So that way we can have more plants, more plants that we want. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of my plant videos, come plant shopping with me. Hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't wanna miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye. I'll be